Hi guys, it's Faye from Faze World Media. And in this video, I want to show you all the crazy new AI features coming out of Descript. During its latest release, which is Descript Season 6, they are now collectively call all their AI features Underlord. That's right, the opposite of Overlord, Underlord. Now, I'm going to demonstrate to you a real project I'm working on that I recorded using a teleprompter, which is not something that I do regularly. It's a video that I recorded for 10 minutes. Um, thanks to the help of Descript, I was able to trim out the mistakes, shorten the word gaps. And I want to show you the process on the screen right now, but please watch it all the way till the end, because I want to give you my honest and transparent feedback on what I thought was really good versus what needs to be improved. And see you at the end of this video. All right. First is Otter AI, which uses AI to transform conversations into written text. And it lets media teams such as ours is Otter AI, which uses AI to transform conversations into written text. And it lets media teams such as I'm so excited to show you what I'm about to do using Descript's latest version and all the Underlord features released as part of their season six. So jumping right in, let me set you up and so you understand what I did just now. I was using Elgato's uh, teleprompter to record this particular video. This is not something I'm familiar with. I've not done so much in the past, i.e. using the teleprompter. So my eye movements, as you can see, it's not bad, but I want to improve my eye focus because I was still reading from a teleprompter. And um, that's something I'm going to explore inside the script. But on top of that, I was making mistakes occasionally um, as well. So I really want to see what Descript can do. Let me go ahead and show you how to get started. So once you turn on Descript, go to file and then say new project. From here, all you have to do is drag and drop your audio or video file. In my case, it's a video file. Right, you can see all the new features on the right hand side. I'm so, so excited. So Underlord, by the way, has all of these features you're about to see. So edit for clarity, studio sound, remove filler word, but also looking good as what we're gonna do is eye contact. You can also center active speaker. In this case, I'm sitting down pretty centered, not too worried about that. I can also change my background using green screen. I actually personally prefer the natural background with my mom's artwork and everything. So. Won't be doing that too, too much. Um, they're also, you can generate image. And um, by the way, they're also a huge media library for you to choose from. You know, sock uh, photos, imageries, even GIFs for you to explore. With that said, I have dragged and dropped my video. That took about a minute or so, maybe another minute to process. And now let's see how everything comes alive. So first of all, uh, eye contact, even though it's in beta, people have been using it for a little while now. So once I click on that, you notice it's already turned on. So what do you think? I think it's pretty natural so far. Again, I think the teleprompter really helped me. Now, if you don't have a teleprompter and your eyes are looking all over the place, Descript is going to be your friend to really help you focus. Next, what I want to do is edit for clarity. So it's going to automatically remove the filler words, um, digressions and all those obvious cuts. So let's go ahead and click on that. You'll notice uh, I'm pausing and filler words. I'm sure you know things are highlighted and you can see that. You can say apply edits to the script or you can copy. I like this one as well. You can copy edits to a new composition as well. All right, let's see what happens. You can see now my footage that went from something like close to 10 minutes now to only eight minutes and 37 seconds. I'm not done. I'm going to go back in and click on Underlord again. There's more uh, I want to do. So let's go into studio sound. The reason is that now it's automatically applying studio sound. I lost my uh, favorite Rode mic, Rode Go mic specifically. So I haven't been able to replace them. Um, I want to show you the before and after real quick. It really makes a huge difference when you apply studio sound. It sounds like I'm literally recording from a studio that I did not pay for $150 an hour. And this is one of my favorite features and I almost always use it, especially with my other guests who don't always record from a super quiet environment and studio sound is the bomb. While you're doing that in parallel, you can apply other treatments as well. Let's go back to Underlord. Remove retakes is another one. So I'm going to click on that. Cut all cut all but your best takes. So I wasn't repeating as much thanks to the teleprompter, but there are moments I remember at least three to four of them where I have to, I repeated myself. 
And this way that you can see that Underlord is going to identify that and remove them, remove other retakes. So, um, I'm going to say uh, no, something else, right? You start the sentence anew again. So hopefully uh, I'm able to you know, see all these changes. Let's take a look. So let's go ahead and apply edit to the script. I notice with all the features, the applying studio sound tends to take longer. I'm okay with that. Again, this is so much faster and better than hiring somebody for hundreds of dollars. And I think it's going to be really um, helpful to people who don't have the time or the budget to hire a professional editor. Whenever you're done, just click on done. First is Otter AI, which uses AI to transform conversations into written text. And it lets media teams such as ours focus on storytelling rather than repetitive tasks such as, you know, transcriptions and note taking and action items. First is Otter AI, which uses AI to transform conversations into written text. And it lets media teams such as ours focus on storytelling rather than repetitive tasks such as, you know, transcriptions and note taking and action items. Welcome back to the end of the video. I hope you're just as excited as I am when reviewing these features and putting them to real tests. Now, what do I think of Underlord or Descript AI in general? I think it's really wonderful. When you think about the editing and production time post a recording of an episode of this podcast or a live stream or your YouTube videos, you're probably taking hours of editing time. What I think is really unique about Descript is that it takes a lot of the guessing out of the way. I absolutely love and always will use the removal of ums and ahs and other filler words in general. This is why I recommend their pro account because there's a limitation to how many of those mistakes and ums and ahs you can remove with just a free account. Now, I also like the new features like shortening word gaps. If I'm pausing, thinking, um, those are really good to just get rid of automatically. I also love the new feature, which is called remove retakes. Descript will automatically identify when I'm repeating myself because I want a better take. So whether you have a second take, a third take, or five retakes, what Descript's going to do is automatically remove them out of your track. So I love watching my 10 minute recording going down to nine minutes and 30 seconds, going down to nine minutes, and then eventually down to under seven minutes. So all those little edits going to take so much time. And I'm so thankful to have found Descript for that. What do I think of the clips so far? I think the clips are really quite good, but you need some time to get used to them. Think about if you're someone who haven't really repurposed content for a while, where I've never done it before, clips is a new concept you need to get used to. So a couple of things that I would like to share just from my experience is that you cannot think of these clips as a highlight reel. Uh, speaking of which, there's actually a highlight reel feature as part of Descript's Underlord, which I've not really explored to its a fullest extent. I'm more focused on clips. So when you think about these clips coming out of your episode, whether it's 30 minutes or an one hour, remember it is garbage in, garbage out. So if you had an episode where you thought the recording quality really wasn't that good, chances are the clips are not going to be that good either. However, um, on the flip side, if you have interviewed someone that you felt really comfortable, you two just jived really well, the clips are going to sound a lot better, but the clips are never going to be quite perfect. So when we see clips that are really good, but the beginning and the end or somewhere in the middle is just not quite perfect. Number one, I want to remind you to go ahead and test them anyway, because on social media, even if you want to edit everything to its perfection, Chances are people are only watching just a few seconds at the beginning, especially if you have a smaller channel. So I recommend that you not die on the hill of perfectionism and go ahead and test as much as possible. And secondly, if you believe you really want to just edit down a little bit, the good news is that the features are built inside the script. You can trim and you can manipulate the clips uh, to your liking. You can brand it. You can choose different captions, which are really convenient. Here are some of the things I feel like that could be better, which is really speed of things in general. So when I uh, upload a longer episode, and in my case, it was only 10 minutes, I realized the script was still taking some time to process, including things like studio sound, which I love, eye contact, that actually took a little bit, even on a 10 minute video. Now I can imagine if you are someone who is constantly uploading, you know, one hour or more type of content, 
that you have to walk away and just be a little bit patient when you're dealing with some of the AI features. I think that is reasonable, by the way, with all the tools that have been playing. It's not like there's one tool that's just making everything instantaneous. That tool doesn't exist yet. So even with AI features, you have to be patient. The bottom line is I think Descript is working and trying really hard with so much empathy to make Descript work for us as small business owners and creators. If you haven't checked out my previous video, my first reaction towards their season six release, I highly recommend it. It's different than this one, which I don't do a lot of walkthrough tutorials, but I really kind of reflect on why I think Descript is the right tool for you. So with that said, and I look forward to seeing the next video right here. All right, bye for now. Thank you.